I'm back. Does anybody here know a nursery rhyme? Yeah. Yeah? What nursery rhyme? Oh. What? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, that's so beautiful. I can't start with that one. Because it's really a song. I'm looking for one that doesn't really have a tune. Like, who sat on the wall? Humpty Dumpty. Do you guys know the story of Humpty Dumpty? Yeah. If I count to three, can everybody tell me the story of Humpty Dumpty? Okay, one, two, three. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Had a great fall. All the king's horses. All the king's men. Keep going. So Humpty Dumpty fell down, and then Humpty Dumpty broke, and then Humpty Dumpty couldn't get up. <laughs> That's a terrible story. I don't like it, Nora. I don't like it. It's sad. Why do we tell kids that story? It's very sad. Don't tell me that story again, or I'll cry. I want to hear another nursery rhyme, a different one. Who knows a different one? Hmm? Anybody? Who went up the hill? Jack and Jill. Do you know that story? Yeah. Am I going to like it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I like to hear it. So if you know the story of Jack and Jill, say it really loud when I count to three. One, two, three. I like it so far. Why is everybody always falling down in these nursery rhymes? I'll tell you why, because they're yucky. And when something is yucky, you have to say blah. So I want everybody to stick their tongue out and say blah. That's right, stick it right out, blah. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me, but I'm coming back here to my piano. And I'm gonna sing a song about yucky nursery rhymes. And because there are so many yucky nursery rhymes in my song, there are lots of places for you to say blah. But how will you know when to say blah? Well, it's very easy. I'll say, come on, everybody, say blah. And you say blah. Should we practice, Rory? OK, we're going to practice. Come on, everybody, say blah. blah. Beautiful.
perfect and clean and beautiful all the time? No, sir, they lived in a shoe. They were yucky. you fall down and you ride your bike and you fall down and you rollerblade and you fall down. Have you got a boo-boo, honey? Yeah, what kind of boo-boo do you have? I can't, is there a bandaid on your head? You got a boo-boo on your head? Oh no, oh no. Well, that's what happens. You get a bump, a scratch, a scrape, you get a scab, you get a bug bite, you get a sunburn. It's all boo-boos, but it's okay because I know a doctor who can fix boo-boos really well. Now, this is a dancing song about that doctor. You have to dance. Don't be shy. And if you know how to cartwheel, you can do that. You have to dance totally cuckoo. Just don't get a boo-boo. I fell off the balance beam into the dirt. I mashed up my elbow and it really hurt. Off to the hospital, I was so scared Until I met a really friendly doctor there He said, don't worry, I'll take care of you I'll get out my hammer, my nails and my glue And he fixed up my elbow, he put in a pin And now I'd like to introduce you to him He's Dr. Rixie from Dixie and he's really swell Dr. Rixie from Dixie and he may be well He's Dr. Rixie from Dixie Of the concert, 
I sang about weird things. And let me tell you, I travel a lot doing concerts for children. And in June, I was in the weirdest state in the whole United States. Can any of you grown-ups guess what that state is? Right! New Mexico is the weirdest. They have so many weird things there. Most notably, they say, an alien spaceship crashed there a long time ago with real aliens in it. There's one right there. I'm kidding. <laughs> I like your hat. <laughs> so, when I was there, something very strange happened to me. Now, I like to read, and I was there in my motel with my book, and late that night, I was reading by my window when I happened to look outside and I saw a bright light light up the sky. You see it? I heard a crash and a clatter. I said, what's the matter? It can't be Santa Claus because it's only July. And then that same bright light lit up my room and in walked a strange looking creature. He held out his hand, at least I think it was a hand, and he said, Hi there. proceeded to explain. He said, my plan is no fun. We've done it all and we're done. We need something new to educate and entertain. Deep in outer space, we've got satellite TV, but we don't have any books, not a one. So we've been watching Reading Rainbow and Sesame Street with Elmo. We want to learn to read because it looks like fun. And he said, take me to your reader. Or maybe Nora, and I don't care how he looks as long as she can read books. He said, Take me to your reader. Oh, yeah. So I said, Please, Mr. Spaceman, I think I can help. Cause I got lots of books right here on my shelf, and I'll read them to you all night long if you leave me here on Earth where I belong. He said, Take me to your reader. Cause I'm in search of a leader. Somebody's all that I need who can teach me to read and I would sure like to meet her or oh, him. Oh, he said, take me to your reader. It could be Rory or Tyler. And I don't care how he looks as long as she can read books. He said, take me to your reader. your house and wanted you to share a book with it, raise your hand if you would share a funny book. Would you share a funny book? Excellent, excellent. Would you share an adventure book? Excellent. Would you share a book about trains? Excellent. Would you share a book about dinosaurs? Excellent. Would you share a nice love story? You would? You'd share a love story? I like this guy. You must be raising him right, Mom. <laughs> and what about a scary book? Would you share a scary book? Do you like scary books, huh? Do you like scary songs? Because I have kind of a scary song I'd like to sing for you tonight. But I don't want you to get too scared. Are you too scared? It's not. You're brave? All right, excellent, Burke. Okay, it's not that scary, but it is a dancing song. So if you feel like getting up and shaking your booty and dancing all over the lawn, 
I'm sure that you would enjoy dancing to this one. Here we go. Well, it was raining in the morning when we pulled up to the yawning of a good times goosebumps motel. When we got inside, there was no place to hide from the monsters that had come up from hell. Oh, they said, we are dead, but we party like we're still full of vibe. Even Miss Scarlet's here, that clueless dear. Her monster daughter in the lounge with a knife. They said, ooh.
It could be someone on their cell phone who needs to put their cell phone down and dance with you. It could be that person. I don't know if there's anyone here like that. But he can't hear me or he's pretending he can't. Okay, so stand next to your partner. Now, one of you is going to have to turn around. <laughs> Just one of you. Turn around and face the other way. Now, this might be a little hard for the grown-ups, but why don't you hold hands? Instead of hooking up arms, hold hands, just like that, that's perfect. Hold hands on the side next to your partner. Yes, so you're both facing in opposite directions. <laughs> Rory, you have to turn around, honey. Or maybe mommy will turn around. <laughs> okay, look at these two over here. This is how you're supposed to be doing it. <laughs> One of you turns around. Okay, that looks good. Now, when I say go, I want you to go around in a circle. Now, you have to go around facing the way you're looking. So that makes a circle. Ready, set, go. That's it. That's it. Okay, everybody's got it. Now I want you to freeze. And when the music starts, I want you to go around in your circle. Don't go too fast because I don't want anybody to go flying. You can skip a little bit if you want to. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Oh, you look good, you look good. Bobby was the king of the playground. He thought that he was in. Everybody had to do what he wanted. Or Bobby would have a fan. One day a new kid moved into town Who didn't follow Bobby's rules And when Bobby tried to put him down He just said, you think you're so cool You ain't the only goddamn pro yo You ain't the only superstar in the show You take a lot of stuff if you try to shine a light You want a Christmas tree with only one light Say it's true, it's good to 
supposed to do, so I'm just going to sing my song. I'm just going to sing my song. Going on vacation, buckled in the back seat. I got great expectations. This is going to be me. I got my books and crayons. I got my favorite games. I am so excited. I just can't wait. The traffic was much better then. All right, everybody sing it out. You know, he gave up talking 10 miles ago. I gotta use the bathroom. I'm in a bad mood. Can we please stop and get some food? If I'd known to go crazy while taking this trip, I'd have begged to take a plane or a rocket ship. Are we there yet? Everybody! Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Again! Are we there yet? Cause it seems like we've been driving. going to be no, 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 don't you do that. You should have been teaching them already. And remember, I can see you from here. Okay, Grammy, I can see you from here. <laughs> All right. So, is there anybody here who's under the age of 12 who can tell me the name of the king of rock and roll? Honestly, folks. Come on now. You haven't taught your kids about the king of rock and roll. What is happening here? Where are you? Who said it? I heard a grown-up say it, I think. Was that a child who said it? Are you under the age of 12, sir? <laughs> Who's the king of rock and roll? Did somebody just tell you that? No. Are you telling me the truth? <laughs> How come your mom's laughing so hard? Oh, that's not a good, that's not good to teach her to lie like that. That's terrible. But that's right. Give her a round of applause. Juliet said Elvis. And now I'm going to brainwash, I mean, I'm going to tell the rest of you about Elvis. Okay, everybody repeat after me. Say Elvis. Elvis. Say Elvis is the king. Elvis is the king. Say Elvis. 
Elvis is the king of rock and roll. Elvis is the king of rock and roll. And now for this song, I want the grown-ups to get up with the kids and show the kids how to rock and roll. Because you know what? Your kids won't remember me, but they will remember the evening that you were on the common with them, dancing and teaching them how to rock and roll. So everybody get up, and we're gonna rock out in bed for tonight. Well, he didn't wear a crown, and he didn't have a throne. He didn't have a castle or a kingdom of his own. He was just a poor boy, little, little, little soul. He grew up to be the king of rock and roll. A little, 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 little
If you're not standing up, stand up. We're gonna play Judy Says. It's like Simon Says, only I'm not Simon, I'm Judy. So you gotta do what Judy Says. Can everybody see me? Okay, Judy Says go like this. Judy Says while you're doing that, kind of bounce. Stand on your head. No, I didn't say Judy Says. And I didn't catch anybody either. Judy says, bounce, bounce, bounce. Judy says, go faster. Do you know what you're doing? You can't stop now because you're doing the potty dance. I'm doing the potty dance.
do one more song, but before I do it, I want to thank Miss Jane. Miss Jane is your Bedford Parks and Recreation Director. She's sitting over there in the pink hoodie, I think. Here in Bedford, they have supported my career for 27 years. They have booked me. And I'm only 29. So I am very grateful for that. The only time, obviously, that we didn't get a booking, I didn't get a booking, was during the pandemic. But we're back now. And when I finish this song, I'm going to sit here on the edge of the gazebo. And I would like the children to make a line. And I will give everybody a picture with your name on it and my name on it. And if your child does not know how to spell their name, please come up with them. Now, this is the last song. This is a very unique phenomenon that I learned when my children were babies a long time ago. You can only do this with someone you are related to, like your mother or your father or your sister or your brother or your grandma or your grandpa or your auntie or your uncle. But if you go up very close to another person, you guys going to try this? Touch her nose with your nose and touch her forehead with your forehead and look into her eyes, you will discover that the other person only has one big eyeball. <laughs> now this is my most cuckoo song, so I want you to go completely cuckoo! <laughs>